What were your thoughts? How did everything go? How was the workout? It was fun. It was exciting. You know, each chance, you know, I get to get on the court and play my you know, basketball. Um, it's always exciting. It was a great workout today. Did a lot of, um, you know, ball handling drills, handling the ball off the pick and roll, and you know, just being able to play with the ball in my hands. Did a lot of that, that type of stuff and uh, passing. We did a lot of overall, um, you know, work, and it was it was a good workout. A lot of scouts think that you're the most prepared uh, player in this draft for the NBA. If you were selected by the Atlanta Hawks, what type of impact do you think you would be able to make? I, mean, I, I think I'll be able to come in and, um, you know, help the team in any way I could. Whatever coach needs me to do, I'll be able to, you know, adjust to, to the type of game it is, the speed of the game. And, uh, you know, I you know, just try to work hard every single day to make sure that I'm ready, you know, to not only get better, but to do well on the court and, you know, help the team, you know, get better as well. So, you know, if I were to come here, you know, it would be a great opportunity for me, um, you know, to grow and learn uh, as I as I go through everyday life and, and uh, practice and doing it all over and over again. In these workout type settings, uh, you mentioned having the ball in your hands that they, they did today. What are some other aspects of your game that you're able to show that, you know, you, you weren't able to do at Duke? I'll kind of, kind of um, you know, come off screen, shoot off the screen, um, you know, just playing with the ball instead of being a screener, uh, being a ball handler in the, in the pick, and, pick and roll. Um, we did a lot of that stuff today, a lot of one-on-one, -on -one, um, a lot of different just situations that I was put in, you know, to kind of, you know, just play and read, make reads, and, you know, just play basketball, and that, that's what was fun about uh, today's workout. Just from, you know, these pre-draft workouts and everything, um, do you expect that there's going to be a lot of adjustment to change of playing from college level to the NBA? Yeah, a little bit. Um, it's a different game. You know, <coughs> the spacing is a lot different. Um, you know, the speed is, is, is a lot different. So I think that, you know, when I first come in, it'll take, you know, a little bit of time. Just like I, when I came into college, it took a, it took a little bit of time to adjust. And, you know, once I get adjusted, I think it's just, you know, playing and, and learning different concepts about the game and just getting better from there. So um, I'm definitely excited about that. I see you have on the uh, PlayStation Paul George's. <laughs> if you had to pick three of your top sneakers to play in, what would they be? Um, I, the last, just this past year, I played in KD's all year. Uh, played in Paul George's a few times. And, you know, I like playing in uh, the tens. The, the Jordan chance, uh, either, either color. What was it like learning from Coach K, being that Duke and getting an opportunity to learn from Coach K, such as a prestigious coach in the game of basketball overall? Oh, it was a great experience. You know, he knows so much about the game. You know, you know history speaks for itself, uh, how he is able to win and, you know, get players to the next level and get them better. So just being able to be around him every single day and learn from how he prepares for every game, um, you know, how he, you know, thinks the game through, and just being able to see that and, and you know, witnessed that was a great experience for me, and I'm happy that uh, that I chose that that school to, to go to because I definitely learned a lot on and off the court. The statement that you made about um, being disrespected if you weren't the number one pick, can you elaborate on that from your perspective? Oh, that's just uh, you know, the competitor in me talking. You know, I put a lot of work into this, and you know, I think I'm you know the best player in the draft, and and I mean that in the most humble way possible, not to you know be cocky or. It's just I know how much you know I take time out and put into this, sacrifice for this, and you know the you know that's just how competitive I am. You know I hate to lose. Um, you know you just want to win and get better while you're doing it. So you know just me saying that um, is just the confidence I have in myself. And looking at Atlanta, it's a team where they're bringing a new coach and they're rebuilding. Do you think coming into a place like this is like the most ideal? Um. It's it's a it's a great place um, to come into, you know, like you said, a new coach, um, whoever gets drafted here, a new new player, you know, we can work together and you know, kind of, you know, you know, figure out each other along the way throughout the whole process of you know the season, summer league, and and, and things like that. So I think this is this is a place where I can get better and, and uh, spe uh, uh, especially develop as a player uh, on and off the court, and that's one thing that I'm just looking for is to looking forward to is to learning and getting better every single day. Have you and Coach Pierce had any conversations about how they could use you here or how he could implement you and your skills in the system that he has in mind? Yeah, he's, he's mentioned it a, a little bit, uh, just you know, how he you know, put me at different spots and um, you know just let me play. And 
you know, just do what I do best. And um, you know, we had a, had a couple conversations about that. And you know, he seems like he's a he's a great coach. And, you know, he has I know he has a lot of experience doing it. So uh, you know, it'll be exciting if I if I get a chance to to come and work with him. What what is it you think you do best? What what is your game? Um, uh, I have a high motor. You know, I'm a, I'm never going to take plays off. Uh, uh, you know, I'm just going to try to you know attack the, the other team as, as hard as I possibly can. Play every play like it's my last. Um, rebounding, you know, scoring. I think I bring a lot you know, to the table well, um, you know, as development wise and just getting better and you know the, just the type of player I am. So I, I'm I'm very excited to show that in the next level. Oh, at the, you at shot three pretty well at Duke last year from a numbers standpoint. Just how much has was stretching the floor, being showing that you could stretch the floor as a big guy, uh, important to to you in, in the last few years, knowing how the NBA is going right now. Um, like I like I said before, it's just you know me being able to do you know both go inside and out. I think that confuses kind of the defense, and you know they don't know you know what to stop. My they'll try to stop you inside, and you can go outside and, and do a lot of things, or they'll try to stop you outside. You go to your strengths inside, so that's what I try to work on every day is just being able to do inside, you know, skills and also having to handle the ball and you know, be comfortable with that, you know, as well, and being able to do both of those extremely well is what I've been working on. Martin, are you uh, tired of hearing that you're a bad defender? Yes, <laughs> oh, man, I'm, I'm I'm tired of hearing it. Um, do you think you are? I think I'm a, a very great defensive uh, player. Uh, you know, just you know, a lot of a lot of the talk that comes around with it. You know, I, I don't pay attention to it at all. You know, you definitely want to get better. It's, I don't know everything about the defensive end, but um, I think you know all the. I don't know how that got around, but all the rumors about defense, and I don't think you know that's going to be a problem with me coming into you know, the NBA. One thing you can't changes your wingspan. You're not the longest guy, but how can you be an effective defender, you know, despite that here in the NBA where you have a lot of long guys? Can you say that again? You can't change your wingspan. You know, that's kind of an important aspect of playing, especially at center in the NBA. But how do you think, even with not your, you know, great length, how, how do you think you can be a good defender, especially at center in the NBA? Um, you know, just quickness. Uh, I think that's an yeah. advantage I have. Uh -huh. I think I'm pretty, you know, I think I got a pretty good wingspan. But, uh, <laughs> but you know, just this quickness and being able to, you know, take guys off the dribble um, when they try to come out on guard and you know, just be able to play basketball and make the right uh, basketball play. Do you have a favorite player, someone you look up to already in league or try to mimic your style of play too? <sighs> um, like growing up, I always watch different players. Um, just watching highlights, I love Larry Bird and you know, obviously Jordan. You know, um, I just still watch taking play stuff for players now, uh, Giannis. And uh, I don't necessarily you know, have a favorite player now, but it's definitely a, a thing where I study and and I try to um, you know look at everybody's games and put it into my game. Is there anybody in particular that you studied and said, okay, I'm taking a piece from his game? That's everybody. That's a lot. It's a lot of different players, um, like a couple, like I just said. Um, you know, I like, you know, I mean, the game's obviously obviously different now, but, you know, Larry Bird and um, his shooting ability, how he set his feet, and I was trying to take small stuff like that, and, uh, you know, Jordan post moves, and you know, just different just different stuff from all over um, everybody's game. Anybody particular saying from this era right now? It's just the same. Everybody, Giannis, um, Anthony Davis, it's a, it's a lot of those, a lot of those players like that. So, um, I take bits and pieces from a lot of players. Have teams talked to you about how they envision using you? Uh, you're maybe small ball five in some situations. For what were they telling you? Yeah, something like that. You know, something small ball five. Um, uh, being able to, you know, put me inside and out. You know, just uh, use me in different ways where I can, you know, throw the defense uh, off. And just be able to attack and create, you know, for my team and myself, and uh, you know, they they mention a lot of different ways like that. Can you talk about being part of the Atlanta scene? Not just the, the Hawks in general, but you know, the Atlanta scene with the renovated Phillips Arena and every sports team imaginable. Uh, you know, the culture here. Can you talk about any association you have with Atlanta or, or being a part of that? Um, I've been to Atlanta, you know, for you know basketball tournaments. Um, EYBL was out here a few times. 
you know, I recently was out here, you know, watching my brother play. Um, so I've, I'm very familiar with Atlanta. You know, every time I'm here, you know, a lot of people, you know, they show, you know, they show me a lot of love here, and and, it, and it, it, it's a great feeling when I'm whenever I'm in uh, you know, Atlanta and being around and you know, just being around this environment. You know, it's a good place to be. Um, and you know, I just I just enjoy it every time I'm uh, I'm out here. In the Hawks attempt to get to know you. Did, uh, did you just come in today? Did you have dinner with them last night or anything like that? Oh yeah, I had dinner last night. I had dinner last night, and uh, you know, I just talked to coach a little bit more um, last night, a little bit before I came in here, and uh, getting to know everybody uh, slowly. How basketball specific is the conversation over dinner, or is it just you know life away? Uh, they, they talk about you know me coming growing up, and it wasn't so you know, so much basketball. I mean, there, there are a few questions, but you no, know, it was it was just a normal dinner. You know, we were talking about each other's families and um, just getting to know each other. Wasn't too serious, you know. I enjoyed myself. You know, ate some good food. Uh, <laughs> Where'd you go? I can't remember the exact name, but it was a it was a Italian restaurant like close to to my hotel. Um, and the name was a it was a weird name, but I can't remember. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but it was good though. But you know, it was a great dinner. It was a great. You dinner. had the veal. <laughs> the hip hop community is pretty big here in Atlanta. Uh, what are you currently listening to? What do you listen to pre game, post game? I listen to. Um, I listen to, you know, J. Cole, Drake, um, uh, Migos, obviously, everybody, everybody's on Migos, um, they didn't make good music, uh, Logic, just a, nah, Tupac, just a lot of, a lot of rappers that I, my dad grew up listening to, and, you know, I just try to, you know, listen to everything, you know, just to, you know, see how music was back then and how it's changed now, and that's something that I've always been interested in. Marvin, it was reported that you kind of felt disrespected a little bit by DeAndre Aiden calling himself the best player in the draft and the number one pick. How much truth is there to that and why? What, what do you mean, truth to? It, well, I mean, was there truth behind you really feeling disrespected? Oh, yeah. I, I said I said that, um, you know, like I mentioned earlier, I was like, that's how competitive I am. You know, I think I'm, I'm the best player in the draft. And, you know, as I mentioned, it, you know, I mean that in the most humble way possible. Uh, you know, I put a lot of work into this, and um, that's just the confidence I have. And, you know, I think that we can sit here and we can talk about it. You know, Travis is a week away. You can talk about all the, you know, media and all that until then. But eventually we'll, you know, we have to step on the court and play. And, you know, that's where, like, I, like I've said in, in the past, it's all the talking ends, and, you know, we're going to have to show up and play. Wendell said that um, there's a lot of people that they're kind of overlooking or overestimating players from the Duke roster as successful pros, you included. What are your overall thoughts on that? Um, I mean, I think there's there's always room for every for every each player you know coming in to get better. Um, I mean, we're all gonna be rookies, so I can see how people overlook. But you know, we just, like I said, we eventually have to step on the floor and and play and show everybody, you know that. You know, we actually put in work too, as, as you know, just like any other player coming in, and the work we put in at Duke, being around coach, and um, it's a lot that goes on, you know, into that. So uh, I think that uh, Wendell, he would, he would do very well. I've seen it. You know, we all gonna do you know, well if we step into this next level and and get a chance to play. Wherever you end up, what's the first thing you want to kind of prove or establish with whatever team you're with about yourself, your game, your character? What's the first thing you kind of want to prove? Uh, I just want to, you know, be able to show that, you know, I'm a hard worker. You know, I'm gonna make sure that I'm, I come ready to to work and learn every single day. Um, prove to my teammates that, you know, I'm, you know, I play for them, and, you know, I just want to be a part of a team who, you know, wants to win and come together and, you know, be united. <clears throat> you know, just just small stuff like that that I'm that I'm looking forward to showing on my teammates and and you know, people that I'm gonna be working with. Some of the players that have come through this week have said that uh, Coach Pierce got on the floor, guarding them in some in, in, in drills and such. Uh, did he get on the court with you to in any drill work? No, Coach was. Uh, I think I didn't. I didn't see him in the beginning, but you know, towards the end, uh, he was over there just watching, and you know, I came and gave me some advice on, um, you know, what I was doing and, and just trying to fix it. And you know, he was he was there, but he wasn't on the court like you know, guarding me or anything. Some people have kind of. Um, Question your run protection and, and your production on defense a little bit. Is that a, a fair assessment, or what is your overall thoughts on it? I don't, I don't listen to it. Um, I think I'm a, 
I'm a great defensive player. Um, I have confidence in my defense. And you know, if you if you go and look back, um, you know, before before uh, <clears throat> before he went in the zone, and before we uh, before I even got to college, you know, I was I was always running rim blocking shots, and I was able to you know protect the rim. So you know, I just think the situation with our team and you know, the players we had, me moving to the wing on the zone, and um, kind of kind of sacrificed that part of my game, you know, for the for the team. And I mean, it is what it is. You know, people are always gonna have their opinions, but uh, I think that I'm a I'm a, I'm a very good defensive player. Would One you, more, please. What do you learn in that situation where you go out to the wing in a zone? Does that being in a different situation? What do you take away from that? Um, it was a it was definitely a learning process. You know, for me, you know, being on the team with Wendell and and Marquise, guys like that. You know, I was able to move into different spots and you know experiment with the different spots and get better. And uh, and as the season went on, with Dell, when Dell had the middle, and I would go to the wing and you know be out there and we just roll with that. That's what we went with the rest of the year. Um, when Dell did a, a very great job of you know, defending the rim, um, you know he he was a great he showed he was a great defensive player, and um, you know being able to have him down there in the middle in that zone it was it was, it was good to have.